Hola! We are look at us, we have a car now, so we're doing a little road trip and within our trip all around Spain. Tunnel! Tunnel? Oh no! It's gonna get all dark! <laughs> okay, hopefully you can see us. Do I need to reach us? Oh. through a mountain tunnel because look at this we are surrounded by gorgeous scenery all around we have just left Alicante and we are continuing our trip down to that coast you can see the beautiful water and today is all about exploring all these little villages and towns all along the coast and within the mountain ranges as well which town are we in now Somewhere just a little bit south of Benidorm. <laughs> no, but it's called Villa Hoysa. Oh, Villa, Villa Hoysa. Yeah. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But this town is so cute. Look, there's oranges in the trees on this whole tree line. Streets and the sidewalks are these beautiful tiles all around. And the buildings have nice colors. Yeah. <laughs> we found the gay bench in Vela Hoysa. So cute. Me thinks that Vela Hoysa is like a retirement home, Hasi. Like a retirement village because there's so many old people here. Not that that's a bad thing because I would love to live here when I'm old too. Because it's so nice. Look at this weather. And look at these streets. So beautiful. Turned out that it was just voting day. <laughs> yeah, so they're just having a voting day at around. That's why we see old people so much. Yeah, but still, I think that like, a lot of people. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> So now we are in E Centro Playa, which is the central beach. <laughs> Basically, that's the translation of it. Playa Centro. Oh, Playa Centro. Still learning Spanish, folks. And wow, the Mediterranean sea looks so beautiful. Here they are. It's so peaceful. Nobody here. Nobody here. Oh, it's is it chilly? Oh, yeah, it's chilly. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's a good way to wake up. That's why nobody is here yet. <laughs> <laughs> but wow, how can you resist this? The water looks so delicious. And then the beach and the sand. Look at the beautiful colorful houses. What are those? They're fishermen houses actually. Uh, so why they're painted all these different colors, as you can see, all along the stretch and the beach is facing there. It's because when fishermen are coming away from sea, by coming back from sea, if they ever get lost, they'll see these houses from afar. And then they'll see all the top of colors and be like, Oh, there's Bella Hoysa. <laughs> Such a practical reason. Yeah. And also now, it's just very beautiful, picturesque postcards. This is the Spanish life. <laughs> that what I think it is? Is an escalator? <gasps> what? And I'm gonna roll my wheelchair up. Oh my god, this is when the old. perfect retirement town. Look, we're on a wheelchair. I mean, <laughs> a escalator. <laughs> going from the beach, just going up. Not on the wheelchair. Back to our car. Back to our car. Wow. We are gonna get so fat this holiday. <laughs> Hola. Hola. That's so oh, good. I have no clue. <laughs> Just following them in our churro man. <laughs> so we saw this churro food truck and oh, he's just piling in the sugar as well. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Go oh. for the... It smells so yummy. Gracias. Literally giving us a bucket load of chocolate for Cheerios. Can you guys see it? Look at that. That's the, the bucket. No, shut up. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> what? 
bucket load of chocolate to dip our churros in. Have you ever had this much churro <laughs> in your life? <laughs> no, and this is more than I've ever had in my whole life. Yeah, I literally just ordered it now for like two people. I was like, yeah, just two. But this is way more. And like, Ooh, look at that. Drip it. How is it? Mmm. Sugary, doughy. Sugary, doughy. All Chocolate. my dreams come true. This is how he makes the churros. Look, it comes out. Wow. Wow. That hot sizzling oil. And then he just twirls it to make that round, doughy goodness. And the batter's still coming out. Ooh, it is hot in there. Getting a full. Chiro 101 session of how to make churros. Oh, look at that, and then one side is so golden already, and then he flips it over. Wow. And here it comes. Rinsing the oil, flip it over. Gracias! <laughs> Mm. The chocolate is so nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. So decadent. And silky. Mm. Charlie, Charlie, where are we going? Yeah, we called a ticket. Oh, I, I gave it to the lady at the bar. You're not going anywhere, but I am going to the chocolate factory. Well, that is your key. <laughs> <laughs> to enter the chocolate factory. Okay, so there's this chocolate factory for the Valor chocolate, which is the famous chocolate in the Alicante region. And this is the factory that produces it, and we get to go on a free tour with it. But what's the catch? Uh, the, it's Spanish. Yeah, because the English tour is only twice a we day. We both know that your Spanish is not so well. So. But this is a good immersion. So now <laughs> on a Spanish only tour where we only listen and hear Spanish. It will be a good way for me to improve on my uh, Espanola. I'll translate. <laughs> Look, even the entrance to the chocolate factory is made out of chocolates. <laughs> Before we even enter into the chocolate factory, what do you smell? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> but like Nutella, nutty, like pure nutty type chocolate, like dark cacao. So lovely. I'm so excited to go in. Dark chocolate. Oh, chocolate drip lights. Oh, yeah. oh, I am stuffed from that chocolate factory tour. <sighs> Are we ready to hit the road now? Time to get some drinks. Yes, okay, let's go to the next destination, Benidorm, just down the coast. Okay. We are now entering skyscraper city of Benidorm. So many tall buildings compared to Alicante and Bella Fuerza. Wow. Dude with his huge chunky soy sauce bottle. Uh, <laughs> hey, not myself some soy sauce. Yeah. Where are you right now? We're at Me Too. In Benidorm. In Benidorm. No, from Benidorm Bastards. Where is Benidorm Bastards? It was a TV program on the uh, only in Benidorm and they would do like okay. crazy things like jaywalking and stuff. There's so many Ooh, more is coming in. That's because there's so many elderly retirement people here. Yeah, and they're just like children again, so they're just playing and goofing around. Because when you're old, they're like, I don't give any. <laughs> <laughs> don't give a Ooh, look at all this sushi though. Okay, so obviously we gotta have some sushi because 
You know, Spanish food we love, but we're also by the sea, so this is a good opportunity to get some yummy seafood in us. Now we're on the boardwalk of Playa de la Banta, which is the main beach in Benidorm. Benidorm. This is a nice spot for a nap. Uh, yeah. Well, so, you know, Benidorm is actually much bigger than we both thought it would be, but. It's still very beautiful, very spacious still. And of course, there's much bigger mix of old and young people here compared to Villa Hoysa. But of course, much more of a hustle and bustle here. Still, the Mediterranean never gets old. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, I thought I was ruining the shot. <laughs> We're in this beautiful lookout point called Balco de Mediterraneo, and is exactly what the name implies. You look out into the Mediterranean. Quite bright, and I need some sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, because everything is white, and yeah. it is more reflective. <laughs> but the water? The water is very, <laughs> <Yeah>. very blue. <laughs> it's such a beautiful spot to overlook the whole entire city. See everything from here. I'm in love with these beautiful blue domes of these churches. We're big on mid-afternoon siestas in Spain, wherever we are. Especially after sushi. Oh, especially after sushi. We're starting now our hike called on the Camino de Faro in the Sierra Calda National Park. See, I just rolled my G's like uh, that. You practiced all the way through here. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> the whole car ride. No, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, so this hike, I think it's about like a little bit under two hours in total. And we're going to be wrapping around this national park along the cliffside. And it basically is about a five minute start from our Airbnb. Like we can see the park from our Airbnb window, which is really nice. You can see the Fisherman's Lighthouse in the distance, but then look at this vast blue horizon. Wow, look at that view! So many cool views on this hike so far. Just keeps on getting. Yeah. We made it to the lighthouse! You coming? Yep, yeah, coming. <laughs> We have more Spanish adventures coming at you as we explore the whole coastal region. Click play on the next video, give this video a like, leave a comment below on what you think of this part of Spain so far, and hit subscribe if you haven't already.